Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. I'm a full-time reseller and we have a jewelry video today. I really can't believe it's already been one full week since the last jewelry video. These weeks are just flying by and I'm not liking it. Anyway, we have um, this box of jewelry right here that we're going to do first and then we'll hop into finishing the lot that we were working on last week and the week before. So if you see anything in this video you would like to purchase, this is how you do so. And since it is the beginning of the week, I can hold through the week. I'm also going to be having a live jewelry auction Wednesday evening. So um, if you want me to hold through that and through the rest of the week, just let me know. Because if you do not advise me, I will add the shipping and ship your item out, our items out. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go through this um, box of jewelry. There's not much in here, but I bought it at a um, uh, at a flea market, and you know it was kind of behind the person selling. And I was like, "Oh, is that you know jewelry back there for sale?" And she goes, "Yeah, sure. You want to look through it?" I said. I said, yeah, so I started to, and then like a bunch of people came up behind me looking to pay, and I'm like, you know what, how much for the whole box? She gave me a total with the other items that I was purchasing, so I said, deal, um, just to, you know, get out of everybody's way. <laughs> so I have not looked through this. Obviously, you can kind of see what's here, but I did not really pick through it. I was just kind of like, oh, okay, I'll just buy it all. The price, <clears throat> the price she gave me was good, so I, I'm not too worried about it. But let's look through it together and see, and see what's here. So um, I guess we'll go through the box first. Usually I save the box items for last, but we'll open it first this time. All right. Ooh, see, I didn't even open this. There could have been something junky in here, and I <laughs> would have never known until right now. Okay. So this looks like a brooch and earring set. Um, it is silver tone. I'm going to guess that the brand is called Elegant or Elegante. <laughs> um, let me see. I don't really want to take this off, but I want to see if it's marked on the back. It does not look like it. Okay, so the stud earrings, everything's in great condition, but it does look like the white on the cameo here is a little bit discolored. So it looks a little yellowed, but other than that, everything else looks like it's in good shape. So we will sell the set and maybe we can look it up really fast. Let's do a quick eBay search. Elegante cameo earring set. And let's just see if anything comes up. No. Um, they do have sets, but I don't see. Maybe if I do, I put brand in there. No, I don't really see much coming up. But other sets that are similar are around the $20 mark. Um, this one is in the original box. Oh, there's a Caldor um, sticker on it. So I remember that. I remember that store. That was a long time ago. All right. So we'll just roll with it. We will do uh, the box is, you know, it needs to be cleaned. Let's just put it that way. The box needs to be cleaned. Um, let me find a big enough bag. Okay, so number one, and we'll do the box set for $10. $10, number one, it just needs like a good lint roll. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we have. You know what? Let me take it all out of the box. I kind of just have it back there. Okay, so it looks like here we have a really pretty brooch with some pearls. This is marked, let's see. Mm, okay, here we go. 
Uh, I'm not sure. Does that say Edward? No. I can't get in there close enough because of the pin. Let me see if I can just open up the pin so I can get in a little closer. Yes, okay. Something vineyard. 12K gold filled. All right, so... But what is Winnard, right? Winnard. So let's look that up. Winnard, maybe Winnard. Winnard. Yep, gold filled brooch. All right. So it looks like they're around the twelve. Around 12 to 20, I would say. This one looks like it's in really good condition. Let's put that back in here so nobody gets hurt. And I don't really see any damage to the pearls. Maybe a little scratch. See, there's like a little, little scratch there. Okay, maybe there is a little bit of wear. But from far away, you can't see that at all. So... Let's do that as number two. And since it has a little bit of scratching, let's just do, um, let's just do $6 on that one. Okay, $6 number two. All right, this looks like a scarf clip perhaps which is really great for the fall. Look at this beautiful gold leaf. Um, no maker marks, just gold tone. So if anybody wants that, it'll be number three. And let's do that for $3. Three on three. Okay, what do we got here? So it looks like, here's the pair, earring pair right here. Okay, these definitely need to be wiped down. Let me see if I can actually just do that right now really fast because I still have a little wipey right here. That's so funny how the mail lady just came and Dallas didn't even bark. All right, these are gonna need a little bit better of a cleaning that, than what I can do right here on screen really fast. But these are plastic, um, yellow and white post daisy earrings. Super cute, they will need to be cleaned up a little bit more. Number four, and let's do that for four, $4, four on four. Really cute. This is pretty. So we got a gold tone flower brooch and the petals are hearts. How sweet. I don't see a maker mark. Let's see if there's wear on the pearl. Maybe a little itty bitty scratch or two in the center. But again, from far away, you can't see that. So we'll do that for number five, and look at that. Let's do five on five. Five bucks, number five. All right, we have a clip on here. I see three, I actually see four earrings right here that we'll just keep on the side until we find the mate. Let's get this one out of here. This is not in good condition. Um, however, if somebody wanted to paint it, it is a Coro. So if somebody wanted to paint this and upcycle it, um, that could definitely be saved. Uh, so let's do that for number six and we'll do it for $1. $1 number six, you get the Coro and maybe you'll be able to repaint it. Okay, this is really pretty. I don't see any maker marks on this one. 
trying to get that closed. Hold on guys, I just want to make sure it can close. It, the, the, the pin isn't even going in. Um, okay, so it does close, but I can't... Oh, there it goes. It, it has a little click to it. All right, so it looks like it might need a little bit of a cleaning, but otherwise it looks good to go. This I feel like should be like gold filled or something. Let's check the pin back. Oh, there's some fuzz. Sometimes, no, that's not writing. Sometimes it'll be marked on the pin. No, I don't see anything. Okay, so we will do this one as number seven. See, it's not magnetic, which is kind of getting me a little nervous. It doesn't look like gold though. It might be um, brass. So number seven, let's do that for $4. Four dollars, number seven. Okay, I see a cute little butterfly. How adorable with the open work, silver tone. It's an Emmons, okay. Really nice condition. Cutie, cute little cutie. That's number eight. And let's do the Emmons for five dollars. Really pretty, excellent condition, number eight for five. Okay, here's one of the earrings. So we have a silver tone, kind of like a wired ball. Um, it does have some slight discoloration. So what we'll do is we'll just do these for a good price. Number nine, let's do those for $2. I already got ink on my nail. Nice. Marker on my nail. So number nine, two bucks. Ooh, what's this little thing? Ooh, this is 1928. The brand 1928 has the back like that, the swirl back. So are these bunny rabbits? Maybe in a wheelbarrow, like bunny, bunny rabbits in a wheelbarrow? I would think so. Let's see if a Google image comes up with anything. Yes, vintage rabbits in wheelbarrow. <laughs> but see, it's funny how nobody says that it's, um, the brand is 1928. Because you just have to know. Okay, so it's in really good condition. Number 10, and we'll do that for five bucks. Okay, I see this other clippy right here. Oh, I think these are glass. They're definitely cold to the touch. No maker marks though, but they are clean. Black glass, really pretty clippies. Excellent condition, number 11. And we'll do those for $4. I know clip-ons are a little bit of a harder sale, but four bucks, number 11. Another little, little pearl item, but this pearl has definitely been scratched up. So we will just do this one as number 12 for $1. Maybe somebody can paint the pearl and then you won't see all the scratches. So we'll do this as an upcycle piece, number 12 for a dollar. 
Okay, I don't know what this is, so we'll just hang on to that for a minute. We have, okay, we have two. So these are little starfish earrings. They don't have matching backs. I'll put matching backs on them. These are pretty, gold tone, nice size. Starfish, no maker marks. Very pretty, great condition. And we'll do those as number 13 for $4. Super cute, lightweight, metal. All right, let's move those over. We got a little ballerina. Oh, cute. You know what? I'm gonna turn on the Presidium so we can see if this green, these green stones are anything. Oh man, we are missing a stone. Ugh, boogers. I don't think I have stones small enough for that. All right, well, we'll still check on the stones, see what they are. We'll give Pressy a second and we'll put her to the side. This is cute, a little flower basket with some enamel. And all the rhinestones are here on this one. No maker mark. Pretty, really good condition. Number 14. And let's do that one for four dollars. <laughs> four four. Four four dollars. <sighs> no, I just got marker on my desk. Poop. Oh man. Let me try to get this off, guys. Here, look, let me see if I can show you. <sighs> I put down the baggie. And it wasn't dry yet. Got it off. Whew. That was a close one. All right. Don't need all that red ink on my white desk. All right. Let's see if this green stone is anything. Just glass. But she's missing a stone, which is a bummer. Not marked. So we're, we'll do her. We'll do... We'll do the missing stone ballerina, number 15 for $1. Maybe somebody has one small enough, but I know I don't have uh, stones that small. Okay, we have a binder clip. That's not, I'm not gonna do that. All right, we have another earring here, so we'll put to the side. We have a metal and enamel. Actually, I think it's painted metal, butterfly. It is missing a little itty bitty bit of the paint. Unmarked, number 16. So let's do that one for two bucks. All right, this is cool, but I don't think we have the mate to that. I don't see this in, in the box, but we do have this one. So this is a little faux pearl clip-on. Really pretty. I don't see anything wrong with that one or this one. Gold tone. No maker marks. Not real though, but very pretty. So those will be number 17 and we'll do those for four bucks. All right, we got something in a little baggie. glass. So these look like they have like a millefiori. Really pretty. Um, unsure if it would be Murano glass. So we'll just go with a millefiori. 
really pretty black glass with the multicolor florals number 18 and let's do these for six dollars all right we got some hearts back here so these are pink and these are red there is a little bit of glue discoloration in between some of the stones. You can see it on the back there. Uh, I don't have, I don't see any maker marks, but it's really pretty. Number 19. And we'll do that for just four bucks since there's a little bit of uh, glue discoloration. So $4, number 19. All right, up next, let's get this closed. There we go. I don't see any maker marks on this one. Um, really pretty though, really good condition, gold tone. There is a t like a little mark on the pearl the bigger pearl so number 20 we'll just do that one for three three dollars throw a little bit of like a iridescent paint on there we'll fix it right up okay I don't see this this stinks that there's gonna be um, single earrings in this lot I didn't really check for that. Come on. Jeez, this is really, it's really on there. All right, I'm gonna check the post. I don't know if I see that there's something written on it, so just give me a second. Sometimes when earrings are gold tone and the post is gold tone it tends to mean that it's a little bit more of a quality piece and could be precious metal so let me just see oh do we have a mark right there i think we do I can't, my nails are too long. They, they are really long. I'm getting them cut down. I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> so maybe, I think I do, maybe the other one will be able to read better. definitely says something it might be too worn to tell especially if it is a precious metal like gold gold is a little bit softer than other metals so it will like rub you know until you can't read it anymore Yeah, not sure, but they are magnetic, so I don't think they, they probably don't say anything and I'm just bugging out. Because if they were any type of precious metal, they wouldn't be magnetic. But it definitely looks like it said something. It could be gold filled. Oh, they're, maybe they're Napier. And just because the backs of earrings say something, it doesn't mean that these backs came with the earring. Somebody could have just put them with it. So we'll just sell them as gold tone earrings. They might be Napier. See, like this one doesn't say Napier. So we'll just sell them as gold tone earrings that are in very good condition. Number 21. And we'll go five bucks on them. All 
All right, I'm saving this one for last, if you guys can't tell. <laughs> all right, we have another, and whoever owned all this jewelry really liked pearls, huh? Because most of these items have pearls in it. All right, so gold tone, uh, everything looks to be in good shape. Three flowers, brooch number 22 for five bucks. See, we have another single earring. Oh, we have this mate though. The little, the little sticks. <laughs> another, um, oh, see, these are cool because these are clip-ons, but you put this side to your, to your lobe, like on the outer, and that's how it'll look. So from the ear, it'll look like you have like a stick hanging from your ear. Isn't that pretty? How dainty and like, like sophisticated looking. Really great piece for the holidays. Cause see that's the back and that will go on the back of, <gasps> uh oh. <laughs> I think it may have just popped off. I think I could pop it back on. <laughs> oh my gosh, as I'm breaking stuff. I think it can be popped back on. Let me I got see. It. It, it pops right back on. <laughs> All right, let me stop messing with it. And these are really pretty, you guys. So again, they're clip-ons, but really, really pretty. Excellent condition. Number 23 for five bucks. Okay, we have, look, see another, Poop, this one's so pretty too. It's a mother of pearl carved flower single earring. So these are all the single earrings. Let's do these first and then we'll get to that trafari right there. This looks like it's just silver tone. Yep. So we have this single earring that is a clippy and is not marked. We have this that looks like it was maybe an earring and the hook came off. This one, are you uranium? It does glow a little bit. I don't think it's glass though because it doesn't feel cold to me. But there's that one. And then you got the mother of pearl carved flower and then the silver tone double hoop. So you're going to get all five of these for one money. Number 24 and let's do them all for three bucks. Three dollars, number 24 on the singles lot. And then last but certainly not least, we do have a Trafari. <laughs> That is with the tag still. Come on. What is that? It like won't come off. Okay, there it goes. So it is a Trafari, crown Trafari brooch with the tag still on it, made in USA. Jewels by Trafari. Wow. I love this. Look at how like like Hollywood Regency this looks. Let's see if... I mean, it might even be a book piece. ooh -wee, look at this. We got $48 here on Etsy. That's not it. $63 on eBay. eBay, so it is the Laurent, let's see, Crown Trafari Laurent Brooch. La or La Orient. 
Wow. Okay, so... $71. They have enameled ones that are over 100 But we don't need to worry about that because ours isn't enameled. 50 in silver tone. 45 40 Let's see about solds. I don't see any that are sold. Oh wait, right there, 30 bucks, but it's pre-owned. 11, but that's silver tone. All right, I can make a, a, a price. So here we go, number 25. And how about we do the new it tag, Crown Trafari. Let's do it for 20, how about that? And how pretty would that look on a blazer or um, a dress, a pea coat? Very, very regal. So number 25, 20 bucks. Okay, let me switch out this bin and then we will do some of the jewelry lot. So let's continue with that. You guys, there's so much jewelry still left in this lot. We're gonna be going for a few weeks more on this, that's for sure. Okay. Let's push all you guys back. All right. Already we have a problem. Here we go. So we have, it looks like a gunmetal necklace with all of these um, Baroque, maybe, pearls? And are these pieces glass? I think so. Oh, yeah. So we got genuine pearls and glass. Gorgeous. This would look great for New Year's. Uh, let's get you a measurement. No maker mark. 17 inch on the drop. Beautiful condition. Number 26, and let's do this one for $15. All real pearls and glass pieces. Number 26 for 15. All right, I see one bangle. Let's maybe hold off until we see, maybe we can, here, maybe we can lot these two together. So we have a, are you marked? No, you're not J. Crew. Nope. So pink enamel and silver tone bangle, and we're gonna pair it with this bangle, who is not, oh, I do see. Okay, so silver tone, almost like a rope, and the pink. The pink one is eight inches, and so is the rope one. So number 27, you're going to get both for $5. All right, I see this earring, but I don't see a mate. So I'll put you on the side. All right, so we have a card of earrings from Aeropostel. Um, they all have rhinestones except these. Very pretty, they are all, they all have their rhinestones, they're all gold tone. We are missing one, but they had them at about $14. So we will do them for $5. Number 28. This is all kinds of, all kinds of twisted up. 
And maybe if I take it off the card, it might be easier to untangle. All right, I think I got it. <laughs> so it's a two strand gold tone. Um, you have the little star of the rhinestones and a, um, oh, so it's cubic zirconia and a frosted quartz. Okay, let me put this back on here. Oh wait, let me get a measurement first. It does have an extender. It is seven and a half inches on the drop, so you're probably gonna wanna use that extender. So we will do the quartz two strand necklace. Let me get a bigger bag. It's going to be number 29. And we'll do that one for five. I do not like tangles. All right, we have, I did see a maker mark somewhere on here. This is by Crew Cuts, which is a J. Crew brand. Gold tone with these really cute glitter hearts that match my nails. They are plastic or an acrylic. And then it has the little dangly neon orange tassel. It does have an extender. It can go from 18 to 25 inches. 18 to 25 inches. And it will be number 30. And we'll do the crew cuts for $6. Really, really cute. Oh, this is a heavy mama. So this is silver tone. It is a bangle and it's kind of like, it kind of domes out on the sides. Definitely has got some weight to it. It's eight inches. Eight inches, number 31, bigger bag. And we'll do this one for four bucks. This looks pretty. Okay, so this is silver tone. It looks like that this would open when the chain is not through it. Do we look and see? Okay, there's nothing in it. But it is by Camco. So that's cool. You can probably put a little piece of potpourri or something in there. Okay, I'm not gonna put that through. Right now, let's get a total measurement on the chain. It is 24 inches total length, 24 inches total length for the angel that opens up, number 32 by Camco. And let's do that for $8. Eight dollars, number 32. We have a um, gold tone clamper bangle. And again, it's kind of like domed 
bigger on one side versus the other. I don't see any maker marks. Looks like it's in good shape. It is seven inches, but you open it to get your hand in. Okay, so, and it does have a little bit of weight to it. It's number 33. And we'll do that for five. don't look like they're in really good shape so we're gonna pass on those oh, I was gonna say why are there why is there only one earring in this bag there's one on one side and one on the other okay I don't I can put on pressy I don't know if these are glass or quartz but they do have like a little pink hue to it and it does say something on the ear wire. Ooh, 925. A-I-N. Yeah. Oh, I would say so. So let's just hold on for Pressy. Beautiful, like cloudy pink color. Does tourmaline come in this color? Because that's what I would think that it is, but I don't really think it's tourmaline. But it's definitely, it doesn't quite go to the quartz line, but they're gorgeous anyway. 925, number 34. And we will do those for $12. Oh, is this a D? It is, it is. What happened? Oh, there we go. So we have a D initial with some rhinestones, gold tone with a really nice flat, like S chain. You know what, I'm gonna unclasp it because it has kind of a curve to it and it will take away at the length, so. It's 18 inches, because the way the chain lays, see how it's kind of got like the curve, it's not completely straight, uh, flat. So 18 inches, number 35 on the D necklace. And we'll do that for five bucks, why not? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a little tangled lot for you guys. All this is gonna go into one lot. You have a little religious piece here. You have this that's sterling. And I think this is sterling too. Yeah, 925. So you can have all of this for one money. <laughs> it's gonna be number 36. And I'll do it all for $10. How about that? How about them apples? Ooh. What do we have here? All right, so we have a necklace that says 925 Italy. This definitely opens when the chain is not through with that 
glass Millefiori. And then we have this heart that says 925. So I'm pretty sure this whole thing is sterling silver. Very beautiful. It looks like it's a 16 inch chain, but let's just make sure. Yeah, 16 inch chain, but you got the two, the two pendants. Number 37. I need more bags. And we'll do that. Um, we'll do that for 25. Okay. Oh, let's do these earrings. So we have a pearl on each earring and some clear, probably quartz. Don't see any markings on the hooks. So we'll just roll with it. Really pretty though. Number 38. Let's do those for just five bucks. Gold tone chain bracelet with an extender. Really nice condition. It can go from about seven and a half to nine. Seven and a half to nine. Seven and a half to nine inches gold tone bracelet, number 39 for $5. Volcom, gunmetal, sideways cross with the rhinestones, black beads with an extender. It's a very long extender. <laughs> um, it's only about a seven and a quarter inch drop, but the extender is five inches. So you definitely got some room there. Uh, this will be number 40. And we'll do that for, let's just do it for four bucks. Next up, it looks like we have a sterling, no, yes, yes, Silpata. It's just the leather cord though. There's no, yeah, I don't, I don't know if it came with a pendant, but the cord is a little sticky. That's kind of gross. Um, I don't think I'm going to sell this because that, yeah, uh -uh, that's, that cord is a little sticky and weird. All right, so we're going to skip that one. This is cute. This is like a bronzy color with the horseshoes and rhinestones, like a rhinestone cowboy. I don't see any maker marks, but I do believe all the stones are there. It has good, good stretch still. It's seven inches without stretching it. And it'll be number 41 for $5. All right, looks like we have a little Y necklace here. So these are definitely stone. 
Yep. So we have maybe like a quartz. Are these? Those like look like glass, feel like glass also. Um, no maker marks, but it's on like a gunmetal chain. And it's kind of asymmetrical. So that's really pretty. It does have a little bit of weight since everything is stone or glass. The drop on it is eight and a half inches without using the extender. It's number 42 and we'll do this one for $7. This looks like it might have a date on it. Outstanding Anchor 2004 WHS. Okay, so we're not gonna sell this because it has all these initials and dates on it. So I'll probably just scrap that. Scrap Sterling. Uh, these look like real pearls. Yes, nice stretch bracelet. Um, I don't really see anything out on the table that we can pair it with. So actually, let's just do these. Look at that. We can have a little pearl set, little pearl earrings and the stretch bracelet. Number 43, you get both. Let's do both for $6. Oh, is this more pearls? Yes. Pearls and black beads. Are these glass? Yes. Are you sterling? Probably not. But we have a bracelet. It's eight inches. Eight inches, number 44, and we'll do that for six bucks. A little ring. Oh, that's pretty. Little abalone, abalone, abalone. Just silver tone, adjustable ring, but very pretty. Where's my ring mandrel? So it's sitting at a five and three fourths, but you can obviously open that up. So we will do the silver tone abalone ring, number 45 for $5. Look, you can see the sun is starting to set right here. Gotta hurry up. Hopefully I get enough time to upload this. What time is it? Okay, I need some time. I do wanna show some sterling, so we're going to um, probably wrap up. I have a few more pieces back here, and then we will continue the rest next week, but I do wanna show a few pieces of sterling for my sterling peoples. All right, so this is like a white, kind of like a cat eye, like moon glow type of deal. Um, just silver tone, really pretty. Little kidney wire backs, number 46. And we'll do those for five bucks. I will get matching backs to these. I just got marker on me. 
So these have like a gold front and a wood back. I don't know what initials that says. WLM maybe? But I will put new backs on. The posts say something. Nine two five, cool. So those are neat. So those are gonna be number forty seven, and I'll put sterling backs on them, and they'll be ten bucks. All right, we have a single earring. We'll have to wait on that. We have another single earring here. That's really pretty. And then we have this. This is a, it's a little bit of wear on the clasp. Um, and a little bit on the extender, but this is pretty. This is like a champagne colored Y necklace. I think they are glass. Very pretty. We have a seven inch drop without using the extender. Number 48, and we'll just do that for four since there's a little bit of wear on it. Okay, last item of the costume, and then we will, I'll show you some um, sterling pieces. We have a little dolphin. Oh, this is a knot in the chain. Silver tone. I would say it's an 18 inch chain. Number 49. And we'll do that for four. All right, let's do a couple of sterling pieces for my sterling lovers. Some of this you've seen, some of this I've shown during auction, and I know not everybody goes to my auctions that watch my videos and vice versa. So um, if you've seen these already, I'm sorry. So this is a sterling silver and possibly like a spiny oyster. I had originally thought this was Jasper, but it does have some... Like it looks more like a spiny oyster or like a coral, um, but it is sterling. It is gorgeous. It would be a great ring for around the holiday season because of the beautiful red color. It is a size eight. The mark is on the back of the band. It's gonna be hard because the stone is so big, but it says 925AF. So for this big mama, it's number 50, and we will do $40, four zero. If you want a measurement, let's see how big the stone is. Stone end setting, inch and a half. So 40 bucks, number 50. This is sterling and jade. This is a Figa, F-I-G-A fist, Figa fist. And it's supposed to represent um, strength and protection. So um, jade and sterling on a beautiful braided style chain. Look at that. It's almost in the shape. It's like a shape of a cube, like a squared off foxtail, maybe they call it. I don't remember. Um, but everything is sterling. Beautiful jade. Figa. F-I-G-A. Fist. 
The chain is 19 inches. The bail and pendant is almost two and a half inches. Beautiful. This one is going to be number 51 and it will be $60. That is a lot of jade right there. All right, next up, this is a pink CZ and sterling silver bangle, but it opens. So you don't have to worry about getting it over your hand. All of the CZs are there. The marking is right in here. CZ 925 China. It measures in at seven and three fourths inch, but it does open and it has a magnet closure. So really, really pretty. Sterling and pink CZ. Let me get a bigger, bigger bag for this one. And it's gonna be number 52. And we'll do that one for $25. It'll go great with your stack of bangles or on its own. All right, next up we have Judith Jack. Judith Jack set of marcasite, sterling, and turquoise. I mean, topaz. Sterling, marcasite, and topaz. These are the earrings. Beautiful blue. And then here is the necklace. And the marking. All right, it is on a snake chain. I'm going to open it up so I can get you the total length. 18 inches. So you get the beautiful set. All the marker sites are there and accounted for. Number 53 for $30. Ow, I just missed the cap. Ow, that's not blood, it's the marker, but ouchies. <laughs> See, I'm, right, I'm writing in red. All right, so number 53, $30 for the Topaz Marcasite and Sterling Judith Jack set. Next up we have Taxco. I will put matching Sterling backs on. These are Sterling and Lapis. All of this is Sterling. Nine two five, Mexico with the tax co code. These are absolutely stunning. Of course, we get the one of the little things. You guys hear Dallas snoring? so loud I hope you guys heard that all right so they are two and a half inches it could be soda light but I don't know I see some gold flecks in there so for the Taxco sterling earrings number 54 let's do those for $30 we'll do a good deal 30 bucks number 54 All right, next up we have Sterling and Diamonds. Number 
These are gorgeous earrings that kind of move a little bit. There are clear and black diamonds in these. Lots of them. Gorgeous. So, show you the back. Okay. These are, let me give you a length. Two and three fourths inches. Number fifty five. And let's do them for fifty bucks. Five zero. Gorgeous holiday earrings. All right, a few more pieces. This is um, Vermeil. And possibly agate I'm not really sure um, it's just a white stone um, but it is vermeil and these are uh, illusion stones we have China marked on one side and 925 there on the other beautiful Size ten and a quarter. We will do this one for number, it's number fifty six. We will do twenty eight dollars. Um, okay. I'm going to put pressing on because I forget what this stone was on this one ring. So we'll do this one in the meanwhile. This is like a little bit of a stretch. You know what? I don't like that. It doesn't even really. How do you even get that on? You just kind of roll it on your finger. Okay, that's a little tight. Okay, here we go. It is sterling with a pink pearl and some rhinestones. Mm, I would say it's probably about a five. Five to five and a half, depending on how much you want to squeeze it on your finger. Number 57. And let's just do that for $15. All right, last one, and I need the Presidium. Are you going to start up, little lady? Because I can't remember if this is Jade or Nephrite. Come on. All right, let me pause the video. Okay, so she is nephrite and sterling. Carved nephrite. Look at the sterling work on this. It is adjustable. It is absolutely stunning. Mm, I think this one wasn't marked, but it has been tested. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. All right, it's sitting at, 
about a seven and three fourths, but you can definitely open it a hair and you know close it in a hair. The stone does move around a little bit in here. So if that makes you nervous, just a little bit of super glue can probably fix that. All right, just leave it set in there and then just do a little dab of super glue in like each corner. I know that's not super professional, but if you wanna go pay a jeweler to fix it, it's, gonna, it's not gonna be cheap. So number 58, and we'll do this one for 40. 40 bucks, number 58, and that'll be our video today. The conclusion of our video. All right, you guys, we will continue the lot next week. Here are the ordering instructions again. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe right here. It's free. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.